Brand Systems in Tampa, Florida. Hope everybody's doing great today. In today's video, we're gonna do a tech talk about the Mavic 3 Enterprise. We're gonna compare the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the M3E, versus the Mavic 3 Thermal, the M3T, and kind of talk to you guys about the differences between the two aircraft, which one would be best for you, and then also do a little comparison to some of DJI's other aircraft. We're also gonna talk about the pricing differences between the two aircraft. Let's get right into it. This video should be pretty short. It's gonna be packed with a ton of good information, so stick around. All right, everybody, let's have a tech talk about the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series. So, as you may already know, the Mavic 3 Enterprise Series comes in two versions, the Mavic 3E and the Mavic 3T. The Mavic 3E is the entry-level commercial drone with a four-thirds inch camera and mechanical shutter in the DJI Enterprise product line. It can fulfill basic needs and it is looking like a replacement for the Phantom 4 Pro V2. However, some of us need a little bit more accuracy than just a basic aircraft with the basic metadata that it provides. So by adding the RTK module to the M3E, you now have an entry level surveying drone. Now for the Mavic 3T, this is DJI's new entry level thermal drone and it has some serious improvements over the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Now, both Mavic 3 Enterprise Series aircraft are very similar in design, the biggest difference being the gimbal camera payload that they support. They're both very portable. Both are going to have a maximum flight time of 45 minutes, top speed of 47 miles per hour. Both are capable of up to 56 times hybrid zooming, and both support the RTK module and speaker optional accessories. What about remote ID? Is the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise remote ID compliant? It will be. Right now it's not, but DJI plans on releasing a firmware update that will allow the drone to be remote ID compliant. And lastly, both units have omnidirectional obstacle detection, which is gonna be great. That's paired with the APAS 5.0, which is the automatic pilot assistant system, and that is gonna help you avoid obstacles automatically. All right, so let's talk about these cameras and the differences between them. So on the M3E, we have a wide 4 thirds inch CMOS sensor that's 20 megapixels. It has a mechanical shutter, which is very important when you're doing your mapping. That way you don't get that photo blur in your images or that warping of the surface, which affects your mapping data. And then the M3E also has the half inch CMOS 12 megapixel camera, which has a 56 times hybrid zoom. And that's gonna be the camera right there at the top. So on the Mavic 3T, M3T, we got the wide angle half inch CMOS sensor, which is capable of taking pictures up to 48 megapixels. Um, we have the telescopic half inch CMOS 12 megapixel camera, which is gonna be at the top of the gimbal camera assembly. That one is the camera that offers us the 56 times hybrid zoom capability. And then lastly, we have this nice big thermal 640 by 512 infrared camera, which is going to be able to offer us radiometric data. Now the M3T thermal camera is gonna be very similar to the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. It's a 640 by 512 at 30 hertz infrared camera that offers radiometric data. As far as differences between the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Mavic 3T camera, as far as the thermal goes, there's not gonna be a big difference there. Now, if you're new to thermal drones and you're thinking about getting the M3T, check out our other video about how to make money with thermal drones. We go through DJI Thermal Analysis Tool 3.0 and we show you how to create reports, how to analyze data, and how to be able to deliver that to a customer so that you can make money. Okay, so let's talk about transmission distance. So the Mavic 3 Enterprise is going to be using OcuSync 3 Enterprise transmission. You should be getting anywhere from 9 to 15 kilometers in range, which is roughly 5.5 miles to 9.3 miles. Now, when you're in areas with strong interference, definitely expect that to be a little less. However, DJI is saying that they're going to support a 4G dongle that will allow you to operate off the 4G transmission network which is going to tremendously increase your range. It's not supported in the US markets yet, but we will see if that feature comes to fruition here in the US. 
Regardless of the 4G dongle, this new enterprise transmission system is going to give you a nice improvement over the Phantom 4 Pro, uh, V2's OcuSync 2 transmission system, or even the Mavic 2 Enterprise's OcuSync 2 transmission system. All right, guys, like I said, I'm gonna make this quick. So let's talk about accessories. So the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise uses the same battery as the DJI Mavic 3, which is nice. So if you already have a Mavic 3 and you wanna go ahead and uh, make a change to the Mavic 3 Enterprise, you can hold on to your batteries because they are compatible. Guys, 45 minutes of battery life is a pretty long time. Uh, compared to the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced or even the Phantom 4 RTK or Phantom 4 Pro V2, we're talking almost a 50% increase in battery life compared to those other two aircraft, which is pretty tremendous. It's definitely something to keep in mind. Obviously, that means that you have to purchase less batteries, which ultimately means less cost. The other thing to keep in mind too is that these batteries are not self-heating like the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. So if you're operating in cold, cold environments, you know, we're talking under 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna wanna let the aircraft warm up for a bit by just kind of turning it on and running the motors and letting it run a little bit before you take off and you know make sure that battery is a little warm. The DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise also has a new controller, the DJI RC Pro Enterprise. This controller has a 5.5 inch display on it that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. It is a thousand candelas per square meter or uh, a thousand nits if you're more familiar with that uh, unit of measurement it gets three hours of battery life it does not have an external battery but it is capable of being charged while you're using it it has a built-in microphone and it takes about 1.5 hours to fully charge after uh, it's been drained and it also supports H uh, mini hdmi out on the bottom of the controller the Mavic 3 Enterprise's loudspeaker is going to be a little louder than the Mavic 2 Enterprise. The Mavic 2 Enterprise had a 100 decibel speaker. The Mavic 3 Enterprise is a 110 decibel speaker, uh, but it's also just improved in general. You should be able to get a little bit more distance out of that guy. Their DJI is claiming that you should be able to hear at 100 meters. All right, moving on, let's talk about the RTK module. So this is a detachable RTK module for both the M3E and the M3T. Uh, it is smaller than the its predecessor, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Uh, this one weighs about 20 grams and is just a little smaller profile. It supports network RTK, custom network RTK, and the DJI D RTK2 mobile station. The RTK module for the Mavic 3 Enterprise improves overall metadata accuracy. So this allows you to take your maps and make them centimeter level accurate, which is you know, really awesome for guys who are doing surveying, photogrammetry, uh, or modeling. Um, one thing to keep in mind, it also improves the aircraft's stability in high interference environments. So while obviously for the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the M3E, you want to have that just to improve your metadata. For the M3T, you're gonna to wanna to have that on there if you're in high interference areas like power lines, um, around concrete structures, big steel structures that do produce some interference with the drone's uh, flight systems and compasses. At the end of the day, everyone, DJI has given us an aircraft that is more portable and depending on which option you choose, has higher resolution and overall better performance than its predecessors. What about pricing? Well, the Mavic 3E is going to be starting at $36.28, and that is for the aircraft uh, kit. That's going to include one battery, a controller, uh, your charger, and then the carrying case for it, and some other miscellaneous accessories. That's going to be $3,628. The Mavic 3T, which is the thermal version, is going to be starting at $5,498, so $5,498. And that's going to include you know, the basic aircraft, your case, controller, and you know, all the accessories. Um, if you would like, you can purchase the protection plans, which will make the aircraft a little bit more expensive. We're still getting information on pricing about accessories like the speaker and the RTK module. We know the RTK module is going to be priced at 709. Batteries are going to be priced at 209. So just go ahead and check our website for more information on pricing. 
If you live in Tampa Bay, we will have a demo unit soon, so feel free to give us a call, set up an appointment, stop on by to actually fly it and demo the unit before you make a purchase. Or if you're interested, we'll have them available for rental soon. And that's it, folks. I wanted to keep this short and sweet and just kind of give you guys some more technical information on the drone. It's brand new. It just came out. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask us in the comment section below or send us a message on our website and we'll get back to you immediately. The aircraft is available for pre-order right now and they will start shipping soon. If you're interested in getting one, please check out our website below and go ahead and place a pre-order. Well guys, that's it for the video today. Thanks for uh, hanging out and joining me. I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to send us a message or like I said, comment section below. Until next time, see you guys later.